For San Jose State's second largest crowd ever, 21,000 including 4,000 red waivers saw the dogs get off to a fast start. After recovering a fumble on San Jose's first offensive play, Jeff Tedford hit Laval Thomas on a 12-yard touchdown play for a 7-0 lead a minute and a half into the game. Later in the first quarter, Tedford hooked up with Henry Ellard on a 39-yard scoring play. The conversion failed. It was 13-0. But the Spartans came back in the second quarter. A two-yard TD pass from Steve Clarkson to tight end Bill Nicholas made it 13-7. The San Jose defense held the offense on the move again. Clarkson hit Tim Pierce for a big gainer. Then it was fullback Ron Thornburg giving the Spartans their first lead on a five-yard run into the end zone. It was 14-13 San Jose State. The Bulldogs refused to fold, driving right back down the field on the Spartan defense. Fresno State then came back to regain the lead on this play when Tedford kept the ball himself and just did duck into the end zone. It was a 19-13 game. Then it was the Spartans' turn to come back after driving down to the five. Clarkson found Carl Sullivan in the end zone for a touchdown and a 2019 halftime lead. But the Bulldogs assumed control in the second half. Two third-quarter touchdowns by tailback Eric Redwood made it 33-20 Fresno State. Then the defense took over. Kent Payne, who wasn't even supposed to make the trip because of a broken arm, intercepted his sixth pass of the year, and that set up the Dogs' final score of the game. Redwood's third touchdown as Fresno State built up a 39-20 lead. The Spartans added a late score for the 39-27 final. One of the biggest wins in history. Our Mark Cotta was there and got these post-game comments. So basically we did about six or seven plays and we drove it down the throat. We just, in practice, we just worked on and worked on and worked hard. We had a hard week to practice and we just drove it at them. You know, we did it for the people in Fresno. You know, they had to witness the embarrassment last year that we had, you know, at our own stadium. And we had something to sell and we came out and we did it. I was a little bit dull, but I was, you know, I felt strong. I felt, you know, I, our team felt strong. We had good practices. And we just, uh, we just did it, man. I don't know, we just did it, man. It was a great feeling. I mean, you know, up until now, I don't think... People believe that we can win and had a chance of winning the uh, conference, but I think this game here proves everything. They were a good ball club, number one, and they, they hung in there and they made the big play at the right time, the big plays at the right time, and, and they came out with the win. I think um, what it comes down to is we're not the best team in the conference anymore. Um, that will either go to Fresno State or Long Beach. There was a time last year when we came out and we were undefeated and, and we did a, a great job in the league, but now it's time to pass the crown on and we'll just have to wish them well.